Welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 20, example D. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, please do well to subscribe and like this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. All right, so we have this problem before us. We have 18, and this is a, a stroke, double stroke, 27, another double stroke, 40 and a half. And this example, we have 24, double stroke, 36, another double stroke, and 54. And for this example, we have 20, a double stroke, 30, another double stroke, and 45. All right, so we're going to be working on this. All right, so well, let's start with 27. So to find 27, we're going to have 18 times. We are introducing an imaginary number, which is 3 over 2. All right, so we're going to be working with this. So 2 divided by itself, 2, and 2 divided by 8. Divide 18, we have 9. All right, so here we have 9 times 3. We have 27. Okay, so to find 40 and a half. Okay, so we're going to have 27 here times our imaginary 3 over 2. Right, so when we multiply this out, we can have 81 here. 27 times 3 is 81 over 2. And 81 divided by 2 gives us 40 and a half. Okay, and for this example, we have uh, to find 18, we're going to have 27 divided by 3 over 2, right? So we're going doing the reverse because we're going backwards. So here we're going to break this 27 times. We're going to reverse this fraction, 2 over 3. So 3 divided by 3, 1, and 3 divided by 27, we have 9. So 9 times 2 gives us 18. Right? So let's try the same example here. Let's try this here. And um, so let's try this pattern here. So let's try this pattern here. We're going to find to find 36, right? So for this we have 24 times 3 over 2. 2 divide 2, 1, and 2 divide 24, we have 12. 12 times 3 gives us 36. And to find to find 54. That's this. We have 36 here times 3 over 2. So 2 divide 2, 1, and 2 divide 36, we have 18. 18 times 3 gives us 54. Okay? And to find 24, which is this, we have 36 here divided by 3 over 2. So we're going to solve this 36 times the reverse of this. That's 2 over 3. So 3 divide 3, 1, and 3 divide 36. That gives us 12. So 12 times 2, we have a 24. Okay? So if we apply the same method for this example, we will definitely get the same answer. So we can also try that, right? So to find, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So to find 30 here, we have our 20 times 3 over 2. So 2 divide itself 1 and 2 divide 20, we have 10. 10 times 3, we have our 30. To find 45. So to find 45, we have 30 here times uh, 3 over 2, 
we have 2 divided by 2, 1, and 2 divided by 30, we have a 15. So 15 times 3, we have 45. And lastly for this, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So to find 20, we have 30 divided by 3 over 2. So we solve 30 times the reverse of this, which is 2 over 3. So 3 divided by 3, 1. 3 divided by 30, we have our 10. 10 times 2 gives us 20. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye for now.